Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how this dual action hidden blade mechanism from Assassin's Creed actually works. And to do that I'll show you a prepared animation and then we'll go through the mechanism step for step. But let's watch the animation first, shall we? Okay, here we are. Let's start the animation now, shall we? Okay, so this was the animation and we'll now go through the steps of this mechanism step by step. Alright, so let's start the animation for now and I want you to pay attention to this area here. So as soon as the blue part gets pushed forward, I call this the main slider, the catch gets pushed down and at this point here the catch doesn't hold the blade anymore and therefore the purple part can fling the blade forwards and eject it. And in the front this black part here, which is pretty much exactly the pen let me stop that now, which is pretty much exactly the same part as this part here, holds the blade in place. And now we push this blue part back and it's pretty much the same thing, it gets pushed down and the blade can retract into the housing. Okay, so let's now watch this catch release mechanism, which is the most crucial part in this mechanism up close. Alright, let's repeat that one more time. And it's important to know that between this purple part and between this yellow part is a spring. So this purple part always wants to push the blade forwards, but um, is inhibited by the blade itself, itself being held back by the catch here. Let's look at the part now. Blue part gets pushed forward, black part gets pushed down, and at this point, the blade can be released. And the same thing is pretty much over here. You can just watch that again. Blade, uh, blue part gets pushed backwards, black part gets pushed down, and the blade can be rejected. Okay, so this motion is only half of the story, because you want to pull on the string in front of the blade to get the blade to eject, and we want to pull on the string in the same way to get it to retract again. And we can translate this motion using this part here, this rotary part, and this works because we have uh, the slot here and a screw here, which then translate this rotary movement of this part into translatory movement. And we can see how this gets imp implemented into the main mechanism in real life later on. Okay, so this is the prototype and I'm just going to show you that it actually works. Like this and like this. Okay, so let's now disassemble this piece by removing these four screws here. All right, so the lid just comes off. And here's the part that I talked about, this rotating part, which is retained 
on the lid by this piece here, you can just rotate freely. And these slider parts come off, just put these parts out, yeah, the springs. And yeah, I made this part out of acrylic so you can see the part below and see what parts actually are moving. This is the blade, made out of acrylic. And I added this screw here because it gives this blade just a little bit of weight and therefore a little bit of inertia so it actually uh, doesn't get slowed down by the friction as much. And these are the catches. And it's very important for these catches that they um, have these springs here so that actually they snap into place. But these springs here, it's very important that these springs are very light so they don't induce much friction. And this part is just 3D printed as you can see. And I'll just remove this part. And here are just some screws screwed in here. And these cams here, of course. So you can just screw it onto here. Uh, not screw, put it onto here. Okay, so one of the most difficult parts of making this mechanism is this little catch here, or basically these two catches, because they have to be extremely correct, like geometrically, to have this mechanism actually working. And I 3D printed this part and this part is made out of Delrin, I think. And even then, the, me the, the mechanism wouldn't work. So I actually had to use some needle files and sandpaper to get the tolerances right. So imagine if you have to make this out of wood using just a saw. It's doable, definitely, but it will take some time. And the same thing with this part, you can actually see here. Thanks. Yeah, so you can see the tool marks here. Um, and the same thing here, actually, on the inside of um, these parts here. I had to sandpaper that off. Um, because the tolerances are very, very narrow. It's very hard to get these tolerances just right. Okay, so let's reassemble this mechanism right now. And I will promise you, if you make this, you will reassemble this mechanism a lot. Because you have to get the tolerances right you know, get there with a file, with a needle file, and get all the parts just right. Let's re-tighten these screws, get that tight, and the last screw as well. Alright, that's it. Let's just test whether it's actually working. Yep. Or not. Alright, yeah, it's, it's still a prototype, so it can fail sometimes, but now it should work. Okay, so here you can see how the hidden blade is fixed to the arm. It's just these two cam buckles. You can just tighten that up and that's fine. Then you can do this and should be fine. Alright, so as I said, this is not a completely working thing. It's just a prototype. It's a proof of concept basically. And this definitely has issues. And the main source of error is this pulling thing here. Because, as you can see, this works just fine, but if you retrieve it, retrieve it, it just doesn't go smoothly back. So it's sometimes you have to give it just a little nudge here, so like this, to get it working again. And 
pulling this or re retracting the blade is for some reason way harder. So I have to really push on here. And this push wouldn't really be feasible in just a mo motion like this. So I definitely have to work on this a little further. And I will post a video on the finished model later on, maybe in a month or two. Okay, so that's basically it. You have seen how this works in theory, and you have seen that it actually works in practice a little bit, usually. Um, yeah, prototype. Hmm. Right, so this isn't, isn't the content I normally do. Normally I just make um, weapons or something like that out of wood and post the templates. And in this video I won't probably provide the templates, but I will provide um, step and STL files for just people who want to 3D print this and try it themselves. When I get this thing completely done, so it actually works 100% of the time, I will provide templates so you guys can make this yourself. And yes. Oh yeah. If you want me to make more content like this, like um, explaining mechanisms and stuff other than woodworking, then just leave a comment below and I'll see what, can, what I can do. But I will definitely shift more towards this content because I can't do woodworking my entire life. So I will do more casting aluminium and working on machines like my lathe or CNC laser, CNC router and stuff like this. So my content will definitely change a little bit, but I won't. So I hope you'll enjoy this new content as well. I'll definitely post rubber band guns as well, definitely. But I'll start to um, diversify my content a little bit over the next two months. All right. See you next time. Bye.